Hello and welcome to our channel. In this comprehensive tutorial, we will guide you through setting up dynamic membership plans on your real estate listing website using JetFarm Builder. Learn how to create a subscription registration form with selectable membership plans using button. Also, automatically update user role after successful payment and manage monthly post limits for each plan. That's perfect for real estate agents looking to optimize their listing capabilities. Before we start, check if you are subscribed to our channel and if the bell is on so that you don't miss our new videos. And now, let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need a jet engine to create posts and fields for you there, jet from builder to create a form and also a PayPal payment add-on. Let's start with it. The first thing you need to do is to create an account in PayPal Developer. In order to easily go through the whole process step by step, you can use our tutorial under the description of the add-on. Go to the link in the guide to the developer account, login or create a new one. Then go to the apps and credentials section. You will already have one app created by default. Use it or create a new one. After creating a new app, it will automatically open. Here you can see client ID and secret key. You need this data to connect PayPal account with website. Below you can see the Sandbox account. This is a generated merchant account where you can create subscriptions. Let's log in into this. Once logged in, click on the tab Pay and Get Paid. Navigate to Subscription section. Then open Subscription Type tab and create a new plan. Before we create the plan itself, we need to choose a subscription product on the basis of which it will be created. Let's create a basic subscription. Here you can specify the ID of this product, choose its type, category, add a link to the website and even an image. Now that we are done, we can create our plans. Choose the created product as base, then we need to choose the type of plan. In PayPal there are four of them. You can read about what each type does. For this tutorial I will choose fixed pricing, so the user will be charged same amount once per billing cycle. The next step is to give a name to our plan and customize the price, as well as the subscription period and how often it will be charged the user. Check the settings before turning it on to make sure everything is correct. Also, in PayPal you can customize the type of checkout. This is an optional step, you can do it later. We have created a basic subscription for $10, which will be updated every month. Let's add two more subscriptions, silver and gold. When all subscriptions are created, we can proceed to customize the add-on. Go back to the website and check if the PayPal add-on is installed. To configure it, you need to go to JetFarm Builder Settings, Payment Gateway tab. Turn on the gateway and if you want to use a test mode to check how it works, turn on the second toggle too. Next, open the PayPal section and add our keys from the developer account that we created earlier. Don't forget to save them. The next step is to create a form. There should be a separate form for each subscription, since the user can choose a type of subscription in the form on the front end. I will add two hidden fields. One field to take the user's ID to update the profile and the second field to specify the number of posts that are available in this subscription. 
I will save this value to the user's profile using meta field. It was created using Metabox feature from JetEngine. I have a number field to store how many posts user can create. Let's back to the form, where we need to configure the payment. To do this, open the Getaway section and select PayPal. In each form you can use new keys or use global settings. In this way, keys will be pulled from the plugin settings. Then you need to choose whether it will be a one-time payment or a subscription. And also you need to synchronize the keys so that the form would show the subscriptions that we created in PayPal. In the subscription plan field, select the desired plan and below that specify the quantity. By default, it should be one. That's all we need to do for PayPal in the form. Let's start to add action. I only want to update the user. You can add more actions. For example, send a confirmation email. In the update user action, we select the user ID opposite the hidden field with current user ID value. And the field with the number of posts need to be attached to the user meta field. I have it has the same name as in the meta field, so I can copy it. And also, after submit, I want to change the role of the user, because by default the user will be registered under the role of subscriber. After payment, their role should change to author, so that they can create and edit posts. Since I want to update user's profile only after payment, on the action need to add event gateway success. I want to note that the subscription will be updated every month automatically and all action in the form where this subscription was used and which were under the gateway success event will be updated too. So every month with the renewal of the subscription in the user's account will be updated the number of posts depending on the selected plan. Now you can save the form. Since each subscription should be made a separate form, I can duplicate the form for the basic subscription and edit it. In the form itself, don't forget to change the name and number of posts in the hidden field, as well as choose a different plan in the PayPal settings. This needs to be done for each subscription. Once all the forms are ready, you can add them on the front end. I want to add my forms to the home page. Here I have already prepared sections for each plan. You can see heading widget for the subscription name, icon list for the subscription benefits, and one more heading for the price. Below, need to add a jet form widget. Select the desired form and also change the color of the submit button if needed. Then you can duplicate the widget and move it to another column. Also need to choose another form from the list. Let's see how the form works on the front end. I logged in under the test user with the role of subscriber. Click the subscribe button and then it redirected to the PayPal login page. If it's a test mode, you can take the login details from the PayPal developer account under testing tools menu item. If it's a live mode, you need to login with your details. After login, you will be redirected to the checkout, where you need to choose the payment method. When the payment is made, we will be taken back to the website where we can see successful message from the form. Let's check the profile settings. As you can see, in the meta field is saved number from the hidden field. That was a quick step how to create a form for PayPal subscription. Now I want to show you how to reduce this number after the user creates a new post 
as well as how to show the form for new posts only if there is still a value in the field with the number. I already have a form to create new posts. If you don't have it, you can create it from scratch. To see how to create such a form, you can use a tooltip above and watch the tutorial. In the form itself, we need to add two hidden fields. The first one takes the current user ID for update user action. And the second one takes current value from the user meta field. Also, to update the value automatically, need to add the calculated field, where we will subtract data on each form submission. So, calculated field will show the value from the user meta field by one less. You can make calculated field as hidden so the user won't see it on the front. Or you can add text to remind the user how many posts he will have left. After this, add update user action. In the settings, select user ID option for the hidden field with an ID. Skip the hidden field with the current user meta. And in front of the calculated field, with the updated value, write the name of the meta field for the number. The next step is to set up visibility for the form widget on the front end. Open the template with our form. I have a template for the profile page. Select Form Widget and open Advanced Settings. We need to use Dynamic Visibility from Jet Engine, so please make sure you enable this module in the plugin settings. We need to show the form if the value in the user meta field is greater than zero. To do this, select Greater than condition. In the line for the field name, select the dynamic tag from Jet Engine section named User Field, and from the list, select the field with the quantity. Then, in the value, write zero. Let's check how it works. Go to the account page to add new posts. I can see the form because I have number more than zero. Fill in all fields in the form and submit it. Great, the post is created. If the user tries to add one more post, you can see that the number of posts has changed to 8. That is now the user has 9 more posts available. That's all. I hope this tutorial was interesting and useful for you. If you have any questions, we will gladly answer them in the comments. See you in new videos. Cheers!